All right, this video will be covering the Mini Educator Model ET300. This does come in a variety of colors, but as long as you have ET300 on your box here or on the back of remote, this video will apply to you. So this is brand new. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, talk about the features and the functions of this remote collar. So, open it up. We've got our remote here, and we've got our collar. Other things you're going to see in the box. we got our charger here. We have a lanyard for your remote. And then up here are important as well. These right here are for dogs with thicker or longer coats. You would want to put these on if you had a dog who had a thicker or longer coat and you were going to be using this collar. Now, inside this second bag here, you're going to have a little black tool which will take off the shorter prongs for you and then you can tighten the longer ones on. The second thing you've got in here is a way to test your equipment. So what this does is you actually would place this on both of the prongs and you would use the remote, press it, and this will actually light up to indicate and let you know that your equipment does work. So it's great to have that as well. Now, getting into turning on the remote and the collar itself. Starting with the collar, you're going to notice there's a red little dot right there. That's a magnet. and You've got one to the right of the remote as well. So, the way to turn on, the only way to turn on this collar is by touching those together. Now green has just turned the collar on, and if I do this again, red will turn it off. Very simple. As for the remote itself, on the back, there's a big on-off button. It also says light. So, when you press and hold that button, hold it down until it says on. So, I've just turned on the remote. Looks like that. To turn it off, same thing, you would just hold it down until it says off. I'm going to turn both of these back on and go over another feature that sometimes people will turn the remote on and they happen to press this button on the back one more time where they just press it and not hold it down for very long if they want to turn it on or off. And what that would actually do is turn on the light. So the same button that turns the remote on or off, if I just press it once, it's actually going to turn on the light and you're going to get this pulse. If you press it one more time, it's going to be consistent right there. And then press it one more time, just a quick tap, it would turn that off. So the light is actually a really great feature to have. Now, typically when you turn on uh, this collar out of the box, you're going to see, you can notice that there's an M and a C. So it's, an M stands for manual, the C stands for continuous. The way to change that, typically we like to leave it on continuous is on the back here, you're going to see to the right that MC. And if you press that button once, it's going to take away that C and it's just going to be manual. And if you press it again, it's going to be on continuous right there. So I have the C to the right. And basically to give you an idea of what that would do is this C, the continuous, if I use one of the stimulation buttons here, it's going to admit that stimulation for 12 seconds. I can hold this down for 12 seconds. When it's on manual, what happens is I can hold it down, but it's only going to go on for a quick quarter second. So again, very easy to change back if you need to. Again, I'm going to leave it here on continuous mode. So you should be able to see that to actually see right there, just like that. Now, on top here real quick, this is your dial as far as for changing levels. So you can see here I'm on a 16. It goes all the way to 100. All right, and all the way back down. So a lot of great levels. The cool part about this is I can set it to a level 14 if I would like to, and I could actually lock this number in there. So if the way I would do that is just on top here. I'm going to hold it down until I see a flash. And now, if I change this dial, will not change the number. That way if I have it in my pocket, or if it's laying around, someone grabbed it, they won't be able to adjust the level. To unlock it, very simply, you just hold that button down again until it flashes, and there you go, now it can adjust. Just like that. Now, there are three buttons on this remote as far as features for training. The button on the right here is has a T on there that stands for tone. So you can set it to uh, an actual tone, or in this case, it's going to come standard with the vibrate. Now, for
for the other two buttons here, you've got uh, the S, those are for stand for stimulation. And if I have it set to a 16, this black button is going to emit a level 16 stimulation. If I have it set to a 30, the black button is going to emit a level, a level 30 stimulation. Now, the cool feature this collar has is it's got a boost button. So, this red button is going to jump up. So, right now it's on a 30. If I press the red button, it's going to jump up 5. So, it's going to emit a level 35 for as long as I need to press it for every time I press the red button. If I want to go back, now it goes right back down to a 30 and I can use that as well. So this is a great training feature to have. Um, now you can always adjust that boost button. You can adjust it to be any level you'd like it to be. It could go up 5, you could adjust it to go up 10 or 15 or just by 2. And that's very simple. So, for example, if you ever wanted to change that boost button, what you would do is you're going to lower it, go down to 0 here. And you would actually, this is when you would press it. Over, you want to see the M right here on the right, and you're actually going to press and hold this black button with the S on it, the stimulation. Now it just flashed for me, and now you can see there's a one flashing. And if I want this to, I'm going to adjust the level, let's say to a 12, and I'm going to press the black stimulation button again. I hit it. I'm going to go back to continuous mode because that's where I would like it to be on. And what that does, it's going to jump up 12 now. So, for example, you can see this here. I have it set to level 12. I have it set to level 12. So if I press this black stimulation button, it's still going to give me level 12. But if I were to press this red button here, it's actually going to jump up to a 24. Just like that. So again, great feature to have. Very versatile for any dog who needs this. Now, as go, moving forward, some other things to know about this is water resistant, very water resistant. It has a half mile range, which is awesome. And again, great remote collar here. If you do happen to have any issues with it, this is a great company as far as being able to help you out. I would say to register your collar. If you get a brand new one, definitely get that registered. Now, last thing I'm gonna go over with you is just how to charge this, very simple. It's actually going to let you know when it's low on battery. I typically do not wait that long. However, on the back, uh, sorry, on the, the collar and the remote here, it's flashing a green, which indicates that it has a charge and that's also on. When it's low on battery, it's gonna flash um, a red color. Some people say it's like an amber. You're gonna see a color flash on here. Red um, letting you know that it is low and you would need to give it a charge. Same thing with the remote here. Same thing, it's going to flash here. You see it's flashing that green. It would flash red or the amber color whenever it's low on battery. It's also going to make that color though, however, if you do press it, as you can see here as well. So, when it's time to charge it, there are dust flaps on both the remote and the collar on the back. You open it up just like this, plug it in, and then for the collar itself, just like that, dust flap, you open that up. And you got that. Now, another important thing to know is that right now I have not plugged this in. However, I can demonstrate real fast. A lot of people forget that you have to turn this on. So, for example, when you have this collar and you would like to charge it, it's going to right now the red. So that's showing me that. The charge is not done yet, that they still need to be charged. So, with that being said, this is right now showing me red. When it's done, it should turn green. Anytime you take it off of the charger, you will have to turn the remote and the collar back on again. So, that is so, you know, all the great things you need to know about this collar. Definitely hope this helps any of you guys out with the ET300 model. Of course, if you have questions with it, contact us. Um, I could probably help you out with anything you may need to know with that. Hope this video was helpful for those, again, who have this remote.